Welcome to Sound Healing Radio. I'm David Gibson, and today's show is on the timbres or sounds or tonalities, uh, consonants and vowels and, and syllables of love. We're going to be going through a full range and making them out loud and resonating a lot of love here. Right. Our intention is that you might find the exact tonality, not just frequency, but tonality for uh, uh, universal love and to be able to be in that zone all the time. That's all. Okay. So today we're going to be going over <clears throat> different timbres. Let me give you a little overview of what a timbre is. We're really just talking about a sound, right? But sounds are made up of a bunch of frequencies. And each one of those frequencies is actually a note. So in the voice, if I just do an ah, ah, I just sang 100 notes there. Want to hear it again? Ah, 100 notes. In fact, I just sang all the notes in that one vowel. Right? So different sounds have different combinations of notes, which means it's a chord within the sound. So all the frequencies that make up a sound are creating a chord. Now, some chords within a sound are very dissonant. Let me play an example here. Okay, so here's a dissonant chord. That would be like a gong. A gong has a dissonant chord within the frequencies that make up its sound. And that makes it a little more activating, which is really good for breaking up stuck energy. Whereas a harp has a beautiful chord within the sound, the frequencies of the sound that make up the sound itself. A harp is more like this. Quite different than this. Right? It's a sweet chord, harmonious, right? So it's really the chord within the harmonics of the sound that actually makes the sound different. It's all about chords within a sound, which is interesting because you can have, then you can have a chord, or here's a perfect example. In this one sound on this piano, there is a chord. There's a chord of frequencies that make up that tonality, which we know as a piano. But we could then take the piano and have its own chord, right? So it's two different levels of chords, chords within the sound and chords within the, uh, the, the actual instrument, right? So we're talking about chords within the sound, and it's called timbre. We spell it T-I-M-B-R-E, but uh, we pronounce it with an A, timbre. It's also commonly called the tone of the sound or tonality or the actual color of the sound, or you can just call it the sound. It's the, the, the sound itself. Right. Now, a lot of people talk about different actual frequencies for different parts of the body. Right? So we've got, you know, like the a larger part of the body, like the heart is going to have a lower frequency because it's larger. Whereas something like a kidney or the adrenals, which are really small, are going to have a much higher frequency because they're smaller. That's the whole organ. There's other frequencies of the materials and the cellular level and the atomic level. But when we look at the whole organ, it's based on size. So when you find the frequency of any part of the body, you can actually uh, uh, then actually uh, entrain it into its healthy state. But what's even more effective is when you find the chord within that organ. So 
if you find all the frequencies that make up the heart, which would be not just the overall size, but the materials, the blood, the, all the fluids, all the nerves, all the uh, 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 cellular cells within the, the heart, they have their own frequency, and the atomic level. All of these have their own frequency, and all of those together make up a timbre, right? A bunch of frequencies is just a timbre, a bunch of notes, and it's a chord. It's really your heart is a chord, and the liver is a different chord, and the, the gallbladder is a whole different chord. I mean, all the different organs are simply chords. So what's, what different traditions have done is mapped out those chords for the different organs. I actually had this one woman who came from Tibet, and she said they had mapped out all the different syllables and vowels for every organ in the body. And she said, it was really interesting, she said that your voice actually takes on the tonality of the weakest organ when you're born. So the, the kidneys are around, uh, all about fear. So if you've got a kidney problem, you're going to have a voice that sounds a little fearful. <laughs> right? Whereas the liver is about anger. And so if you've got anger weakness when you're, or liver weakness when you're born, then you're going to have, it might be like, right? And so we've got different tonalities or basically just a bunch of different frequencies that are different chords that make up all the organs. Now, in Chinese medicine, they have come up with quite a few of these chords or, or tonalities, I should say. It is a, t a chord, actually. And these are the different vowels. And uh, the main system is the six healing sounds of Qigong. Now, if you go online, you'll find tons of different versions because no one agrees on the exact sound of these six healing sounds. And since if you look, some of them say there's only five as well as six, but they're, they're pretty close. And so these are not the actual uh, way they're written, but the way they're pronounced on the page I'm showing you here, in case you're looking. All right. So first of all, the sound of the heart is ha, ha. Ha. Ah, it's great because it's got that ah in it where you commonly associate with love. Ah, ha. Ah, right? And that can overcome anxiety. They say that that sound is also associated with the color red. Right? And then the spleen. Oh, my God. The spleen is really interesting. I just read something from Alice Bailey. She said that your heart, the energy comes in from spirit and enlivens the heart, which is the life energy. And that creates an electromagnetic field that keeps everything coherent to working together in your whole body. And as you know, if your heart stops, you're dead, right? So that's the source or spirit energy in you. But then she said the spleen has its own energy that it gets from the cosmos. It's not as strong as the heart energy, the, the life energy, but it's a, another level of chi that comes through cosmic energies in the, in the universe and goes from there through the spleen up into the heart. That was really interesting. She said there's a third center, which is your consciousness, which is in the pituitary hypothalamus and pineal section of, of your head. Right? That's all about consciousness as opposed to just life energies. So the spleen energy is who? So you could totally send the sound who, who to your spleen to overcome worry, right? And run that, that life energy. The liver sound is shu. Shu is associated with green. Spleen, by the way, is associated with yellow. So the liver is shu. And that's really good for overcoming anger, because right? that's where anger resides, is in the liver in Chinese medicine. So just send the sound of shu to your liver now. Shu. 
The kidney sound is you, you, and it's associated with blue, and it's about overcoming fear. So send the sound you to the kidney. You. The lung is s s s. That's overcoming grief, and it's associated with the color white. And the whole body, or, or triple warmer, is the she, she, which is multiple areas of centers in the body. She, and it's a clear, clear, clear light color, and it's about love. She, she, right. So. Those are really simple, and you can, if you do a search, you can find all different versions of these six uh, healing sounds of Qigong. There's also the book by Master Shaw, where he has over 200 different syllables for different organs. So he gets into really a lot of detail there. Okay. Now, we can also just look at the syllables for love, and that's what I wanted to share the most today. Okay. So the main syllable that's been used since the beginning of time for love is ah. So let's do this. Bring love into your heart now. Feel it completely. If you need to think of a time when you were feeling love, go back. Might have to peel away the person. Right? But go back and feel this love completely. Bring it into your heart now. And now make the sound of ah and see how it resonates with this energy of love. You can do any pitch you like. You can do it long or short. Any, just play with it, right? Ah, 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 ah. Then keep the love in your heart, and let's try Hugh. Ekinar says hue is the sound of universal love. So try that. See how it resonates with this love in your heart. I like that one because it's a little easier to make out loud. Then there's ooh, one of my favorites, really easy to make. The easiest vowel there is to make is ooh, right? And love should be easy, right? So let's try that one. Ooh. Oh, let me put on my original sound here just to make sure you're hearing everything. I might be getting cut off. Oops, okay. There we go. Back to ooh. And then there's OM. Since the beginning of time, people have used OM for love. You can do it as OM or AOM. Ah, Try both. OM. Keep the love in your heart. Let's try Hung, H-U-N-G. Hung. Somebody said it's like sending a wave of love across the room. Hung. Hung. And then there's an ancient syllable that's been used in different cultures, which is nur. Try that one. My favorite is MMM. 
that's really sweet. I just like you're getting a hug. It's also nice to do vowels that aren't normally associated with love. Try this one. Let's try E and send love with the vowel E. E. This one's really fun. Let's try ick. We're not doing i, we're doing ick. <laughs> Do ick and send love at the same time. This is mastery work. Ick. <laughs> ick. 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 It's all about being able to send love even when you're in a challenging situation. Now you can also set boundaries with love. So let's do a really loud no and run love at the same time. Let me demonstrate. Warning, warning. I'm going to get really loud. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. No! Tricky. I often run it from my solar plexus, the boundaries, and from my heart, I run the love. So imagine you've got a tiger attacking you, and you've got the power with, uh, with your voice to stop this tiger in its tracks. So on three, which is always four, we're going to do no with love, okay? Just like we did, okay? All together now. My kitty loves this one, okay? One, two, three. No! I love it when people run love while setting boundaries. Okay, I'm going to respect your boundary, and you're not wiping me out with your, your energy also. You can also do it much softer. You could just go, no, no, with love, right? No. Or like the kitty getting in the, in the toilet or the, the baby getting in the cupboard. No, no, no. No! <laughs> or, my favorite is when people do boundaries with love. I mean, with, with humor, that is. No, no, I'm, I'm not going to do it. No way. No, not going to do it. Net wa negatory. No, no, no. <laughs> Very cool. Then you don't feel like you've been beat up, right? But still set the boundaries firmly. Just do it with love, right? That's the whole deal. So those are the different vowels and consonants, or vowels and syllables that people have used for love over many ages. Now, there's also, it's interesting, that when you're transmitting love, your heart actually puts out harmonics in golden mean ratios. Normally, uh, the heart and all sounds are created with mathematical multiples. So all of those higher frequencies uh, of the harmonics that we were looking at earlier are one times, two times, three times, four times. So if I sing 100 hertz, ooh, then the harmonics are going to be 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, right? But when you're transmitting love, your heart shifts to golden mean ratio sounds, which is really interesting. Not only that, when you're transmitting love, your heart goes up and down in tempo in a smooth S-curve. It gets faster and faster and then slower and slower, very smoothly transitioning from fast to slow and slow to fast. So that S-curve also has the golden mean in it. So a lot of people often think of the Fibonacci curve, which is found throughout nature, and the way all, part, all things that grow, they all grow based on this pattern. One, one plus one equals two, one plus two equals three, two plus three equals five, three plus five equals eight, five plus eight equals 13. And that ratio is about 1.618 uh, 
between each one of those. It, as the further you go along the the uh, the the scale, the the more it gets closer to 1.618. So 1.618 is the ideal golden mean or Fibonacci. So what I did is I took the frequency of the Earth, supposedly, 136.102, and I multiplied it by times 1.618, and then multiplied that frequency by 1.618, and kept going, the next one, by 1.618, and got a whole series of frequencies that are exactly based on the Fibonacci or golden mean. So this sound I'm going to play for you is the sound that the heart makes when you're transmitting love. See how it feels. Okay. You can hear the different frequencies in it. Now go ahead and sing along with it, any vowel, tone along any vowel, and run the energy of love. Interesting, huh? Kind of weird run in love with electronic tones, but those are showing the actual harmonic structure of the heart when you're transmitting love. Okay. It's very cool. Hmm. I want to play a song for you now that is also based on love, and it's called Water of Life. It's one of my favorites we play on the sound table. And Water of Life, that's the meaning of water of life is universal love. And so I've got also nature sounds and, and whales and dolphins in here as well, and water, right? Because love is a flowing energy, even though the energy, the, the element of love is actually air. I often think of it as a very flowing energy. It's, it's really uh, all about letting it go and letting it flow, right? So we can think of that, uh, water of love or water of life so just run the energy of love with this song the water of life okay enjoy
now that you're in the zone, I'm going to have you do a little work. We're going to tone the sound of love and try different vowels and syllables as we listen to this recording of a whole bunch of people toning the sound of love. In fact, they are actually toning the energy of all hearts connected on the planet. Right? So imagine every heart on the planet connected in higher consciousness and love. And that's the energy of this intention. So again, try any vowel and tone through the whole thing. It's almost eight minutes. So when you tone that long, you get really freaking high. High. All hearts connected.
Heart Sutra. Heart Sutra. These are a whole bunch of different vowels for the Heart Sutra. share my screen.
So play with different vowels, and different syllables for different parts of the body. And see if you can find all the different organs and especially play with them and run love. And just keep running it for the rest of the weekend, the whole week ahead. You could do it silently in your head. Months ahead. All the time running love. Silently in your head. Years ahead. And lifetimes. Thank you.